Hi, I'm Trevor Lund of RevTrev.com, and in today's episode of Ministry Tips with Rev Trev, I want to continue with uh, what I talked about last week about how, you know, that a ministry needs an, uh, a list and how I prefer to use email lists to mail lists, and that might change over time, but right now that's really where I'm at because they're free, they're easy to use. I do use a paid service, but I want to show you a couple of free ones that you might want to consider. And uh, I'm quite quite glad that I've uh, found these ones now. Um, the first one that I was thinking of is PHP List. And PHP List is one of the standard ones. I've, I've used it before. And you uh, download it. You can upload it to your server. It, it takes care of all of it. Now, the danger with doing it that way, and this is why I didn't want to recommend it to, to just anyone, is that um, you're server will limit the amount of emails that you get sent out. Most servers will limit it to, to 200. You can give them a call and you know tell them you're not a spammer and get them to raise that uh, depending on your server but it really is quite a bit of a hassle to host your own uh, list that gets sent out because it gets put into spam, it's not compliant, all the kinds of things can happen. So I would only recommend PHP list if you're, you know, you want total control over everything and you're really techy. Now, when I came to this site, I actually see that they now have a hosted version as well. Now, I would really recommend you check this out. I don't know um, what the costs are. Probably free. No installation, no configuration. Um, and it's in beta, so that might give problems. But if you're interested, that would be the way to go. Now, the second one I was wanting to tell you about is it's called uh, Your Mailing List Provider. And um, your, your Mailing List Provider is uh, YourMailingListProvider.com. You get a free account uh, up to a maximum of 1,000 contacts. Now, if you're starting out, why not go this way? <laughs> it's free for 1,000. And uh, you get open, uh, click through. Uh, you get everything you need. You got you get autoresponders, you get uh, forms for people to uh, fill them out. You can import contact lists. I'm actually setting one up for a friend of mine for her business, and it it actually looks really good. Um, you can't go. Uh, I shouldn't say you can't go wrong. I, I have I've never honestly I've never used this one, but uh, I use Aweber all the time. I bought an account with Aweber years ago. And um, it's I, they haven't raised the price on me, even though my lists have grown quite a bit. So I'm assuming I got the buy-in rate, and uh, I'm happy to go with that. But you can expand with this one too, and uh, you can go Pro or Pro Plus, and you'd have to check out those things. Now, that's kind of the physical things of having an email list for people. Now, what you want to do with your email list is to get autoresponders set up. Um, autoresponders, you can, um, where is it here? Anyway, um, you can do it with this, this one. I know you can do it with PHP list as well. So an autoresponder is basically a series of emails that people get. You get send them day one, day two, day three, day five, and uh, they follow a pattern. If you are interested, I can give you my pattern for them. I'm getting really good results with that. Get people emailing me questions, sending me their comments, telling me about themselves, and I I really enjoy it. Like that's why I want an email list is I want to get to know people and uh, be there for them any way I can. I wanted to show you too what I'm doing with RevTrib.com. This is Aweber. Um, this is a box from Aweber. And uh, the other thing that Aweber has where probably I get most of my subscriptions are from the, the popover. Now I don't have it set up. I have it set up so it comes in after a time. And I only show it once a week I think if people come to the site the first time they'll get it after if they're if they're on the site for more than 10 seconds it comes up and uh, they get uh, the opportunity to subs to subscribe now I'm trying something different like what I've been doing for a long time is uh, people can download how to steward your destiny and um, it's been getting some pretty good uh, response but I've had so many people ask me about the relaunch of my Twitter tips uh, I, I wrote this a few years ago when I was on Twitter. I had about 40,000 people following me. And um, it was, you know, that was before all the celebrities came on and 40,000 was a big deal. <laughs> and people wanted to know how I, how I did it. So I wrote it up and gave it out 
for free now. Uh, so I, I've redone it now, and I've made it for the new Twitter, and people can go on there, and uh, they get to this page, and um, they can sign up right away to get this Twitter tips. Now, if they sign up for it here, Aweber allows me to put them on my main list as well. And uh, I think I tell them that in the video. And uh, you get all of this extra stuff. And this by far is the reason why I'm growing so, so quickly on my email list. Now, a couple of things you need to know. Just because you go quickly on an email list, it doesn't mean <laughs> it's what you want. <laughs> um, I've been getting a lot of people unsubscribe. Why? Because they want my Twitter tips. But secondly, they, they it's a different market, right? Like Twitter tips, I'm not talking about Twitter all the time on RevTrev.com. It's uh, RevTrev.com is about practical spirituality for this thing we call life. And so if you come there and you, you sign up and get my How to Steward Your Destiny, that makes sense that you want to connect with me and that you want to be there. You've come here and you sign up for the Twitter tips, and I'm not talking about Twitter all the time. I'm not. I'm probably on this side. I talk more about blogging because when I solve something about some issue I have for blogging, I'll, I'll blog about it and uh, talk once in a while about social networking things. I've got a category for it in the archives, but <laughs> it's really more about the. Uh, uh, yeah, there's category of blogging and social networking, but it's not really about Twitter. So, um, oh, that's the other thing. Kingdom Retweet Club. I think I might have told you about this. I really want to get a lot of people on this. Basically, if you join this Twitter Retweet Club, I will tweet your messages out as well as everyone else on the list. We're going to limit it to 250, but you know, right now there's not 250. So you can sign up, you can invite your friends. The more people we have join the list, the more active it's going to be, the more influence you're going to have for your tweets. And uh, how you get on this Kingdom Retweet Club, you need to download my Twitter book. And in there it tells you how you can get on this Retweet Club. So um, if you are interested in that, that's a great way to grow your influence too. So anyway, this was just about starting an email list. Use PHP list or use uh, your mailinglistprovider.com. Have a, a form on your website, your blog, such as this. Um, if you go to, let's just click on something. Is there hope for my marriage? Click on my blog post, and in the blog post, um, I've got it there too. This is not a good position for it. The reason why I have it down there is I want people to find out about me. I want them to have the video right away to know how to connect with me. I want them to see a sales pitch right there. And um, then that's the next important thing in order. And if they're on for four seconds for the first time, they're going to get the popover. And that's where they're going to get it. The other thing I will show you too, it's called, maybe I have it turned off. I probably have it turned off. <laughs> It's it's a subscriber magnet, and there's a they, there's a oh you know what let's go there in a different browser. dot com and here I might have been here already. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the video because that's set to play right away. Oh, it's not there. Uh, there's a subscriber bar that comes up here. I've I've been checking this out so. <laughs> <laughs> on this, on this uh, one too. So the subscriber blog, uh, if people do a comment, they they have an option to subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm logged in here. Anyway, I don't want to make this a very long movie. So I I'll show you that later if you're interested in how to get more subscribers through your blog. But this is basically just about how to get subscribers to your email list. So, oh, that was the other thing I was going to show you. No, I'll, I'll save that for another time. I was, I'm going to show you how to use a tool by Google to actually uh, get contact information for churches in your area so that you can approach them about ministering with them, joining with them, connecting with them. But that's part of a whole other series that I'm going to be doing with ministry coaching tips. So I hope you have a great week. That's this week's episode. God bless. This episode has been brought to you by Expectancy Press resources that impart hope and empower destiny.
When you choose to purchase products from ExpectancyPress.com, you're supporting the work of Expectancy Ministries. Are you a little afraid to do what God's told you to do? Get a copy of How Big Is Your Butt by Trevor Lund today.